Um, next, I'm going to implement um, uh, to invoke my get -do list web service. So I use just to try and catch, and then just declare my service first. Um, Doom b one if um, service prox here. Um, um, we are going to using the um, the service. Um, this is the one. Um, this is the one. The uh, the block clan is uh, quite a long um, class name here. And then second, I need to prepare the request message. And remember the request message type, it is the get dog list type, right? And then we just create a new uh, request. And then remember the dog list request, if we, if we would like to um, get the order of sales order, um, we just put the table name as um, ORDR and this will be sent as the variable into the web service name. If you're going to get the invoice, it's, it is ONVN. Okay, um, the next thing uh, we just need to um, the response, we need to get the response, invoke the web service to get the response there. Uh, the response type is the get response type here. Uh, we just need to invoke uh, our service method get dog list by this one, the get dog list. Yeah, that's the function name, and then with the given request there, and then you will return the our response uh, to us, and then we will like because it's a list of a uh, it's a list of uh, the um, row, so I would like to get the first row. And then it's a, uh, it's a low type, so type row. And then I would like to get the first one. Dot, uh, get the list result, it's a list of a row there. And then I would like to get, uh, get the, it's an array. So I get the first one. And then I would like to, uh, Put the card code into the test box there, and row dot card code. In the row, we have a card code card name. Just put a card code there. Okay, and so far, um, I also would like to have a pop up the message box for the any session. Uh, so far, we don't need to specify the, um, any username and password. That's because we are using the non-authentication in the web service. So in the client side, we don't need to specify the, um, the username and password here. All right. So now we are ready to for debugging. Let's check it out. What are going to happen? Just start uh, debugging. Um, before we debugging, I would like to put some breakpoint um, here. I would like to add the breakpoint. Um, And as a result, I have two breakpoints here. Okay, for the testing, I just simple to invoke my web service by clicking the um, button here. Okay, it's coming in. Now just F5.
Okay, and then we see there was an error there, and the error saying is saying um, the ending point configuration, the end, end point configuration session uh, for the contract has more than one end point uh, for this contract. Okay, let's figure out uh, what is the reason there. Um, actually, the reason is um, in the app config. Okay, we can uh, we can resolve it. Just open the app config. In the app config, um, if you remember, uh, we have two endpoints, and this one is for HTTP and the other one is for HTTPS. But the contract name, if you see, it bounding with the same contract name here. So that is the error uh, we have. Uh, two endpoint bounding with the same contract here, uh, because um, so far we only using the HTTP. So uh, I just need to common the HTTPS part, and then the error will be gone. And um, all right. So when I click this one, uh, common the the second endpoint. Um, as you can see, the uh, bounding as well. We actually we have two bounding here. Uh, we just need to um, set up the second one to common the second one as well. The second one is uh, for the HTTPS as well. So we just need to common um, the second one as well. Okay. As a result, we are having um, is it bounding here? <clears throat> and as a result, we only have one um, bounding and then one endpoint here. And, okay, that's the bounding for us, and then it's bounding to the HTTP. All right, now we we give another go. Just click the button once again. Okay, it's coming in. Just F10. All right, the first arrow has been has gone. All uh, right, now we keep going, and we invoke the function here now. Let's see what is going to happen. All right, we got an exception here. Let's check it out. What is the exception there? The exception um, indicated um, the maximum message size has been exceed. Uh, the size 65536 is not enough and the prop we got to uh, increase the maximum receive size and maximum uh, receive message size um, properly okay the reason is still in the app config because we are uh, re retain the whole uh, order of sales order it could maybe it's quite a big um, uh, list of a sales order so it exceed the uh, maximum maximum uh, receive message type here as well so we just need to enlarge the number here uh, as well. Um, okay, and then uh, now we have the enlarged message types here. Uh, let's give another um, go. All right. Now we have an we have another um, arrow, the third arrow there. They say the maximum receiver message size and the maximum buffer size should be the same value. Just now we we enlarged, uh, uh, we increased the max uh, receive message size, but haven't changed the max buffer size. So we got to um, increase the max buffer size in the app config uh, again as well. Is the this the one? We, we they got to have the same value as the max receiver message size here. So just save it and to have another try. Step by step. Uh, very good. Uh, we get the response. Um, Okay, let's check the result there.
Okay, now let's have a look at the row and the row, the first row. Uh, what we what we have? What we have? Okay, perfect. Now we the uh, web service uh, work uh, properly. Um, it returned the card code, the first row for me card code and card name and dog day and everything just perfect. Uh, dog entries as well, and then I displayed it um, in the um, here as 